Hi, this is Darren Blue, and I'm going to walk you through the user and tool settings of your WordPress blog. What you want to do is go over to the left sidebar here, and then right next to Users, click the arrow, and that will expand the, the Users menu. Now, you don't really need to bother with authors and users. You're the only author and user of your blog. You don't need to add a new one, um, but you do want to change your profile, so click that and oh, there we go and so what we're gonna go and do here is change some of the basic info update your contact info and make sure you have a full profile for people to view and check out first things first you can't change your username but you wanna punch in your your first name your last name a nickname um, I just use your first and last name again and then you want to display your name as what your name is rather than admin or whatever username you created just use your first and last name there and then make sure your email is good your website if you have one add any of your your networking profiles here AIM, Yahoo Google Talk, and a little bio about yourself. If you want to change your password, you can do that here. And that's it. So you fill out all that information, update your profile, and that way if people click on your profile to learn more, uh, there's actually some info to learn about you. Next, let's go over to the Tools menu. So let's close that one, open up Tools, and let's click on Tools here. Speed up WordPress and press this. We don't need to pay any attention to those. Um, WordPress is good as is. We don't need to modify it in any way. And really the one you need to care about is Export. Every once in a while, as you begin to develop your blog and you have posts and pages and comments and so forth, you want to back these up. And to do that, you go to Export here under the Tools menu, and you download and export your posts. As you can see here, it tells you you're going to export your posts, pages, comments, and everything. Um, so you have a backup of them. So I'm going to click that, and then you would just save it to your computer wherever you want. So I'm going to cancel out, and that's it. And then if you needed to import that file ever again, you would go to Import from the Tools menu, click WordPress, and then browse on your computer and select that file. And you could, you could essentially bring all your posts, pages, and comments from one blog into another blog without having to write them all over again. To start with, you don't need to worry about this, but it's good functionality for when you really develop your blog and it's become an asset for you and you need to protect it and back it up. Next, there's the upgrade section here. So click that. And periodically, you're going to see WordPress has upgrades that it releases for free. And it's continually improving and changing and tweaking and sometimes the interface changes but it's always getting better. So it's really a snap to upgrade WordPress. All you have to do is click on the button. It's going to upgrade automatically. And bam, you're done. WordPress upgraded successfully. And that's it. And those are the tools and the users menus. Not much you need to worry about there, but I wanted to walk you through and make sure you're aware of everything. Thanks for watching.